Hi everyone! Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about how do I become a software engineer without a computer science degree. In a few days, August, is my one year anniversary working as a software engineer. And I just started my second software engineer job one week ago. I'm very glad I chose to become a software engineer one and a half years ago because not only I like my job much better, but I'm earning more than double of my non-software engineer job. So I would like to share the experience with you. How do I become a software engineer without a computer science degree? If you like my video, please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm or subscribe my channel or leave comments below. It can really help to support my channel. Firstly, I wanted to talk about where was I a year and a half ago. I was working as an accountant with very low pay and boring work. I lived in a life that I had to count every penny that I spent. I set up my goals that I can only spend no more than $10 a day besides my rent. So basically, I can only cook by myself, I rarely go to expensive restaurants, I rarely go travel and I only spend no more than $50 if I want to buy clothes. And I really dislike the idea of paying rent. After many years, I moved from Chicago to New York. I only spend firstly $500 a month. Usually I live with two to three roommates. And later it's $600 per month and then $620 per month and even now it is only $630 per month even though my salary was more than doubled a year and a half ago. I really tried to save money for the down payment of my first house. However, with not very good income, it just needs too long to save up enough down payment. I remember one time I have heard my manager when I was still in my accounting job said our company built a time checking system which cost us millions of dollars because the software engineers are so expensive. To be honest, I did not think that time checking system were anywhere near fancy or related to advanced technologies. But it just inspired me that maybe I should do the research about how much do software engineers earn in New York City. After I did the research, I found out for entry-level software engineers in New York City, the lower end is about 75k and the higher end is about 100k. Additionally, I heard one of my friends said someone just graduated from coding bootcamp got a job about $80,000 without a computer science degree. So I was thinking that was really good pay compared to what I was earning at that time. And it would take me years just to reach that level by working as an accountant. Especially I do not have a CPA and I really do not like that type of job. So I started to learn coding by myself. After a while, I realized it just too slow. When I was working and then studying at the same time, it was just really slow, not efficiently. So I started to look for coding boot camps, which may offer me more systematic schedules. At the end of 2018, I just reached to a level that I really hated my job. And after all the research that I did, I know I saved up enough money for the tuition, which is about $18,000 and living expenses for one year. And I chose a coding bootcamp that offered web development program and I quit to study full time. How's my coding bootcamp experience? So it's very intense study, which required 8 to 12 hours a day, sometimes in the weekends too. I remember we learned React in one day, Redux in one day, Express in one day, etc. And we had to do pair programming every day. 
we had approximately 25% of the students already had CS degrees. So it's just really hard for me to learn something new with someone who has much more experience in a time-sensitive manner. So I would like to suggest anyone who wants to attend coding bookend has some sort of good foundations or else it's going to be a very tough journey. So coding bookend is not for everybody. To be honest, you can learn all the skills online for free. For example, W3 schools, free code can, or you can just pay very little money on Udemy, which offers very good courses. But if you don't think you have the discipline to study by yourself and you save enough money, then you may choose to go to coding bootcamp to immerse yourself and study experience with other students. One of the most valuable things that I gained from attending coding bootcamp was a school alumni resource. I got very good job interviews from my school alumni. After four months study, I graduated on May 24, 2019. I took some days off after my graduation just to relax myself. After that, I started to apply for jobs. I think I applied approximately 1,000 jobs. I got interviews. I was actually very happy I got interviews. But after I did all the coding exams, or I submit my projects after many hours of uh, doing it. I wasn't able to proceed to the next rounds. I was just keep on trying and trying and eventually after two and a half months I got my first offer. It wasn't very ideal pay for software engineer job. However, it was already much better than my accounting job. And I know my tech skills were not that good. So I would just think maybe I just do it as a paid training. I did learn a lot from my first job and it benefits me so much for my second job, which is my current job. Not only I get paid much more, but a lot of skills apply to my current job. So for the new bookend grads, because just there's so much uncertainty in the future, especially where you experience this COVID-19 pandemic, if you have any offer, I mean a legit job, not something that you do not know whether you're going to get paid. I'm not saying those ones. But if you have a legit offer, just to start to work first, because gaining experience from the real projects can benefit you so much for your future job hunting. So this is my journey of how do I become a software engineer without a computer science degree. If you like my video, please click the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Or if you have any questions, please leave comments below or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.